What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It is the 2022 Rockfish opener and I'm out here today with Jimmy and our goal is to go try to catch obviously some delicious rockfish and hopefully get our limit which is now four per person of uh, reds or vermilion uh, rockfish. So we're trying to make some mackerel right now um, before we head up to our rockfish spot. So Jimmy's got the chum buddy in the water and uh, yeah, we got some chum going. We got the smelt already kind of gathering right here in the chum. So we're just gonna give it a few minutes before um, hopefully the mackerel show up pretty quick. We're gonna try to catch like 10 or 15 mackerel uh, because there are lingcod on the spot and there's also big sheephead. So we're gonna drop some live mackerel down. We got squid and shrimp, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got a few mackerel coming over. Um, they're kind of big, so we might have to chunk them up and just use like the slab. But that's okay, because if you guys watched my lingcod video, we actually caught that lingcod on just a chunk of a, of a dead smelt. We just kind of like slabbed it up and dropped that down there. So Jimmy's pulling these giant mackerel over right now. On a homemade species. Yeah, I, I ran out of uh, the pre-made sabiki, so I just had some 15 pound test laying around on the boat. I just tied up four little hooks uh, on the line there and then yeah just put some squid on there I do have the chum buddy going um, it's really really important to get that chum buddy in the water because it's just like you can put around all day looking for mackerel and if you don't find it like, in active school I mean you're just kind of wasting your time but I freeze like uh, any bait left over from the previous trip in like small ziploc bags jeez look at that thing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> All right. We're gonna weigh more than a lot of the rockfish we're about to catch. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll freeze like the sardines or mackerel or whatever bait I have left over from the previous trip into you know Ziploc bags. That's actually a lot. I like to use the maybe smaller ones or just smaller portions, just enough to get you know a little bit of chum in the water for 20, 30 minutes. Obviously, those bigger bags, I'll just reseal them, double bag them, put them back in the freezer. But yeah, you just draw all that bait uh, right to you real quick. The smelt usually shows up first and then the mackerel come right behind them. <laughs> the dolphin are gonna come steal our mackerel. It's always cool when dolphin or whales, you know, swim, swim by, swim through. Oh, they totally are, look. <laughs> We've been chumming this up for 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but those dolphins just definitely took off on some of the mackerel. All right, so we just got out to the spot. Um, I was just kind of metering around with the, the trolling motor, um, marking some good stuff down there. So Jimmy just dropped right now. I'm gonna rig up. We're gonna just start with the squid. Um, and focus on trying to get some uh, some of those reds on the boat and then we'll kind of play around with that mackerel and then also the shrimp and you know see what's biting right now but yeah so I got the uh, trolling motor on spot lock so we're sitting in one spot we're not drifting so we can kind of fan cast around and just try to find what spark uh, or what part of this reef you know the fish are holding on or biting it uh oh what do we got Jimmy we're on the board yeah. baby seven more of those seven more <laughs> baby that was on the strip strip of squid first one there you go T tons of whitefish down there right now so we're, we're really trying to weed through them we keep getting picked clean on the squid so we're trying to like add more strips of squid to the hook or try something else to uh, hopefully fend off the whitefish in time for a, a red or something else to find it. But that's a good sign. We just tried, that was the first drop on this new section of the reef. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got, oh, Jimmy just got bit again. Here we go. Sweet. We found the spot. Big old oh, fat red. Dude. <laughs> Look at that red. Yeah, buddy. Nice one, Jimmy. Awesome. What's that like? That's like a two pounder. Probably. Lip that guy. See what I mean? Those hooks right there. You guys, if you guys 
are still fishing just regular small hooks for your rockfish really try out this o'shaughnessy style like long shank hook this one right here is the bkk and i absolutely love them look at how with that longer shank you hook them further back on the head not just like right here on the lip so it's really hard for that fish to uh, as you're reeling it up to spin off like that thing wasn't going anywhere you got them like right through the right through the right roof there, the roof. that's awesome hold on hold them up all right jimmy just oh, oh clicker <laughs> on baby that's what i'm talking about <laughs> gotta add to the ambiance all right so jimmy just set the hook on something good it's actually fighting a little bit got some head shakes hopefully it's not just a big old white fish <laughs> Found that little honey hole, huh? There it goes. So what's legal on the sheep's head? Well, Show the camera, bro. Yeah, buddy. That's a perfect eating size sheep right there. Female? Female and you know, sub sub five pounds. Hey, hey. Check it out. <laughs> we found uh. the reds, baby. Yeah. Dude, I got snagged and I ripped it out. Look at that. That's a good one. That little guy's worth a yeah. taco. Big one's good though. Sweet. Nice. Got a good mix going on right no here. No way, dude. Check this out. So, the top. Look at what this one just threw up this. Jimmy? Uh huh. That was on my bottom hook. I had squid on the top hook, and this one just threw this up. What? So, that, that red, this red right here ate what was on my bottom hook first, which was the shrimp, and then he came and ate the. Um, the squid on the top hook and because he just threw it up so this little one just ate a bare hook <laughs> i'm gonna descend that little one because he's too small to really keep but that one's perfect eating size that's crazy all right so we just yeah we found a different spot on the reef that definitely has a lot more red sheep head and stuff like that the current is ripping downhill i don't know if you guys can see off the back of the boat but it looks like uh kind of like an eddy there's like a swirl coming off so it's moving down downhill probably I don't know, like a knot, knot and a half. So we went down to the bottom of the reef where that water's flown over. And I think they're just kind of hugging down low to the bottom, letting that water pass over them. But sweet. Yeah, we're getting them now. Right. So here's that little red. Um, look how cool like the black fins are on it. Super beautiful fish. Um, I'm going to descend this one. What I like to do is I'll just barely skin hook them uh, with my dropper loop and I'll drop them down to the bottom and just kind of like set the hook so it'll just rip just a little bit of their skin there because again this one i don't want to kill this one and i personally think part of the reason why they keep changing the limits on these is because uh, people don't take the time to descend their rockfish so a lot of times you'll see people just tossing them back and they just float away and become like seagull food so it really is important to descend have a descending device or at least know how to skin hook them right there just barely on the lip and descend them yourself you couldn't stop it it was really Oh, yeah. Jimmy's on again. Oh, that one's fighting like a whitefish. Or another sheep's head. This is what the sheep oh, yeah, yeah, the sheep head. Do, that's right. Yeah, they do kind of roll. In its mouth, and I'm not trying to stick my finger in there. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I wasn't recording for that one. Jimmy just caught a nice starry. That thing looks old, man. That is not nearly as big as the other one we got. That's a good start. That guy. That'll keep. Nope. Got one? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Whew. There's number seven. One more. <laughs> there we go number eight that's flayable size we we descended what five little ones yeah caught five really small reds that were smaller than this one this is on the small side but he will keep for sure that's number eight limit of reds awesome that bite completely shut off for us. We had to move around, try a bunch of different spots of the reef. 
got got kind of brutal. All we could catch were those uh, white fish and then just tiny little rock fish. But finally scored another eatable size one. Woo! I'll figure it out. All right, guys. So we ended up getting our limit of reds, eight reds, and one starry and two sheephead for our efforts today. Definitely a lot slower than we uh, thought it was going to be, but. I mean, we, we made a run up to one of my favorite spots to fish, and it was just a little off. Conditions were a little weird. Definitely not biting like it normally does, but that's okay. So, yeah. Um, Jimmy, anything to add? You have to get rock, rock fisher back or what? Rock fisher back, baby. Yeah. Back at Jimmy's house, uh, we just cleaned off the boat and now we're gonna start filleting the fish. Obviously, we have a few fillets here already. Um, so, yeah, we ended up with our limit of reds. We had two sheephead and then one starry. Um, not, a, not a bad little uh, first rockfish mission. So, I'm gonna show you guys again how I like to fillet my rockfish. It's not really what you see um, a lot of people doing. A lot of people like to cut and then just slab the whole thing, but I actually take the time to trace the rockfish because I feel like you, you don't miss as much of the meat. So make the, the first cut there. Just score the skin just a little bit there and then cut, kind of follow the spine down. Just like that right there. So you're just hugging that spine all the way down. And once you get here, once you get over the spine, since you, since they're smaller fish, you don't have to start from the bottom. You can just kind of push it through and just hug. See how I'm bending the knife? Pop it through right there. And I'll cut it all the way right to the tail and I'll stop right there. Because for me, I find it easier to trace one side, flip it over, trace the other. Because when that meat's still there, it keeps the fish flat. If I were to cut that fillet out, there'd be this weird little bend and I've noticed it's still possible to do a good fillet, but it's really easy to miss this little middle chunk here. So I'll leave that side on and do the same exact thing. So just cut down right there. Just kind of score, trace that skin right there. And then you can, again, just kind of hug. You can kind of feel the, uh, the spine there and just hug that. All the way down and then yep same thing see that once i get over the spine pop it out the bottom cut it down to there and then once i have both sides traced then it's easy you just make sure you don't hit yourself with these spines here because i've done that before and it doesn't feel very good but just clear those spines put the knife right here done flip it over One perfect filet. Cool, back in the kitchen guys, let's take a look at the ingredients we have here. We got onion, tomato, lime, avocado, some cabbage, and of course our beautiful red filets here. Uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna make some crispy flour tortilla um, tacos. And how I'm gonna cook the fish is I'm gonna marinate it in some soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and then just a little bit of salt and pepper, um, just in a Ziploc bag, and then just grill it on the stove top here in a pan. And then obviously I'm going to use the flour tortillas, just put them in hot oil, fold them in half, and then load that up with the uh, red and then all the ingredients and it should be pretty tasty.
We got these uh, smaller flour tortillas, some vegetable oil. All right, so I just flipped it right there. It looks fantastic. Again, that's why I love using, like look at the color of that. I love using soy sauce as a marinade. Even just a little bit makes it like, I don't know, just adds that little color, that little char on it, but you won't taste the soy sauce at all, I promise. It's just a good all around marinade. We got Dylan over here checking out the, uh, the new jigs I got. New toys yeah. for the season to come. We're almost there. Yeah, these Let's are the, uh, a lot of the kicker fishing stuff, I went to uh, the kicker fishing warehouse sale, picked up some new jigs, um, yeah, some smaller ones for the Bonita, Barracuda, That's that one's going to catch some calico, I can feel it. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, excited to give those a try. If you guys aren't familiar with kicker fishing, check them out, um, they make some of my favorite jigs and also uh, the, the pickle kick is one of my favorite swim baits to throw on the, the A-Rig. Um, super durable. It's got a nice tight little little kick to it. Love right, that so we got the oil ready here. I'm gonna hold off on putting the tortillas in there um, until this is done because I want those tortillas to be nice and like crispy and and hot. If you cook the tortillas first and then pull them off, they get a little so They can get a little soggy. So yeah, I'd rather have the fish cooked first, put that off to the side, then focus on the tortillas because you gotta have the tor the tortillas perfect. All right, Don. Right. Precisely. Yep. So, we got a little bit of time, then we'll focus on those bad boys there. How's that look doing? It looks really good. Wow. You want to try just a piece of that? Um, yeah. Go for it. Ah, it's really hot. Yeah, take, do it quick. Mmm. <laughs> Super good. Mmm. Delicious. You don't see fried flour ones often. No, but they're so good, dude. I'm sure. All right, so here we go. Uh, that was an experiment one. I don't know if you guys can see it over there just to see if the oil was the right temperature. So one thing I like to do is you'll see it kind of puff up right here. I just like to give it a, a couple little pokes with a sharp knife. Kind of the, the downfall of using flour, but that's okay. Give them a little squeeze. Oh, that was too many pokes, but. So make sure that side's nice and cooked. You don't just flip it. Check the other side. And then before it gets too crispy, I like to flip it over and dunk it like this to get that inside nice and cooked too. The flour ones are a little bit more work than the corn. I just, I genuinely prefer the flour to corn tortillas. A little poke. There we go. Yeah, leave a comment down below. Do you guys, what do you guys prefer? Have you guys, I don't think a lot of people do the flour tortillas, but everyone I talk to kind of either it's, a, they either love it or they hate it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. So that one, that one looks pretty good right there. Put them upside down, let them dry. So yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good, right? Pretty tasty. So there's, that one's still hot. There's two down right there.
Reds are so good. Yeah, dude, it's so tasty. I feel like they really have a unique flaky texture to them that's they like do. really good. They absolutely do. Love sculpin, love calico bass, my firm fish, but reds, like, because of their soft texture, they're bomb. All right, this is a the key ingredient here. You like tartar sauce, right, Dylan? Oh, yeah. Tartar sauce on the tacos. If you guys haven't seen um, the other fish taco video I did, this is definitely a must-have. Not a ton, but just enough. All right, and again, if you guys haven't tried this Tabasco Chipotle sauce, it is absolutely insane. Hands down my favorite hot sauce. Um, it just goes so well with fish, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that on top. And there you have it. Beautiful. All right, you know we gotta awkwardly get the first bite because yeah. the first bite is the uh, the telling one. And he, he's probably gonna hate it. That's the price to pay. Let's try <laughs> it. Let's give it a shot. Mm. I heard that crunch. That sounded good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's lots going on there. Lots of different textures and flavors, like the crunch of the tortilla and then the you know the flavor or the texture of the fish the uh avocado is really good so good job man it's delicious <laughs> i i like it sweet all right i can't wait to try it i'm gonna cook mine now all right dylan's keep going yeah through. i've had my i've had two of them and they're they're really good like the more you have it grows on you these tortillas are delicious and they're, so is the rest they're super addicting all right look who just showed up with the john deere hat let me see that thing Eight dollars at a oh, truck yeah. stop bonanza. Oh yeah, respect, uh, respect. So he he just showed up just in time. So I'm gonna make him one real quick, and um, he's probably gonna hate it too. All right, chain and order it the chef special way. Let's see. All the stuff. Here we go. <laughs> the classic head nod. <laughs> That's very special. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's terrible or the not. The tortilla kind of steals the show. Does it? Mm-hmm. It's like very crunchy. It's like a cracker. It's the most expensive part. But the fish is very good. It's very mild. Um, I don't even know what fish it is because you didn't tell me about it. It's sea lion. <laughs> it's, re it's really good. Um, <laughs> it's mild. Is it like a... I can't tell what it is. It's red snapper. Red Vermilion. snapper. Describe yeah. the texture. I never would have guessed that. Yeah. How's the texture mm -hmm. of the fish? It's firm. Yeah? It's firmer. Um... But it's not super gamey, it's not super fishy. Right on, dude. Really, really good. <laughs> Coming in blind. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Alright, one thing I forgot to give Dylan that I gave Chandon that might have been the secret was a little bit of lime. Sorry, Dylan. I loved it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. You don't need a ton. missing taco holder i know right <laughs> now i gotta hold them up look i got hot sauce on my thumb because of oh, it oh gosh nightmare I'm complete leaving. nightmare i'm leaving i can't even talk i haven't made them with the uh the flour tortillas crispy like this in a very long i'm up here very long time so i'm just gonna enjoy this and then we'll get i guess their final opinions in a second all right, I got a little bit of a mess to, to clean up, but that's fine. Um, honestly, that was fantastic. It's a recipe that it's kind of annoying to do that the flour tortillas just because they like puff up and all that fun stuff, but I think it's worth it. It's it's really rich, but man, that was super tasty. Um, the the red snapper was fantastic in there. Um, it was just a really fun, great weather for the first time in a long time <laughs> we had good weather on the rockfish opener so glad it worked out glad we got our limit of reds um, again that limit now is four per person so make sure you guys are up to speed on the new regs don't get caught with five like it was last year don't be that guy but yeah turned out fantastic what do you guys think 
It was delicious. Usually we do crispy fish, soft tortilla. This time we did soft fish, crispy tortilla, and it turned out <laughs> very good. I enjoyed it. Thank you, <laughs> Chef Adam. Yeah, you gotta change it up every now and then, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, it was really good. Adam's a great cook. Uh, I would say that's like the cheeseburger of tacos. It's it's very rich. Uh, it's very heavy. It's a very heavy taco with a lot going on it, but it's it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, it's funny that I love, I love bringing Shannon around because he has those, those, those fun, that little insight there. But I just posted the lobster one, yeah. And you, I forget what you said. I, I hashtagged it in the video. It literally just went live right now. But <laughs> you'll have to watch it. Yeah, he's got, he's got some great insight. This guy. Um. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Um. If you guys like this type of content, I'm really looking forward to bringing more videos as the season starts to heat up. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this stuff. It's, it's what I live for. Uh, good friends, good food, good fishing, getting out on the water, spending times out, uh, some, some time outside. So yeah, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you guys enjoy this and we'll see you on the next one. Later.